Hi everyone, Bruce Wards here and we're back on the moon from September 9th's crash. A radius of three miles on the surface. We saw explosions. Yes, I was able to get it. I'm really happy I am. And I'm going to share it with you guys. So with all my filtering and with everything to be able to slow things down and to get glimpses of this object. So I'll have some examples too at the end of some nice flybys that I captured um, very similar approaching the sun to see how it looks like a meteor when it approaches the sun because we're seeing some symmetrical value to this object very very hard to tell very hard to see we'll see it in black and white and various um, now listen up we're just on the edge of the moon okay and the light is the best way I can do it if I take away that fuzzy light the object also disappears so it's just on the edge of the fun fuzziness and a nice view of something hmm startlingly frighteningly uh, no that's a, a frighteningly Bruce what the hell's wrong with you frighteningly large it's not small guys we're looking at one hell of a big object that hit uh, the moon on September 9th between 9 and 10 o'clock so I'd even say I'd go as far as saying 10 15 it's between that time anyways it's at the beginning of the footage when I started filming it, I was able to capture it right away. So this would be just after the sun had set, maybe maximum half an hour, an hour, something like that. And there were chemtrails going across the surface of the moon, very hard to see. Look at the fire. We're gonna be able to see the explosions um, in great detail. I'll slow it down for you. I'm showing you the. Uh, a lot of look at that <laughs> wow okay to give you an idea of the size of that well it's about half a, um about a mile to two miles wide but then again with the fire around it i'm saying a mile and it's nothing less than that i'll tell you that and it's damn large and it just hit the surface of the moon then uh yesterday you saw i was filming the moon and while i was filming the moon we were looking at a moon that was a very um odd different meaning the oscillation the waviness that was over the surface was extremely um bothered just like we were looking at an ocean so maybe this thing crashed through the ocean and now <laughs> anyways just take a look at what i was able to capture and then we'll see the um asteroids or meteors at the end with the flybys of the sun um so I'm, I hope you're happy that I put it back up because we did want to get a clearer view of it but again it's not easy but hey the object did catch on fire and it did hit the moon and you'll see a bit further down I'll come back on um, and show you the explosions exactly where they are with some arrows and slow down Now here we go, we're gonna see the explosions, okay? First, second, and you'll see here, third explosions, which are very big explosions. So it hits sort of sideways, right? This big object and broke apart and you see one, two, and three explosions. You may not see it right now, but there's two objects right now coming in and they both caught on fire. Three explosions on the surface. It's either one large object, imagine, we're talking a mile wide but we're gonna see it close up and watch the object as it approaches um, I'll get some arrows up there it is a sign of it now something's coming in explosion one explosion two and explosion three which are three pretty big explosions but now check it out this way watch it there it is there's the length of whatever's coming in my friends oh, that's pretty big and watch this their explosion on the surface rises up and a third and this occurred now it slowed down but in four seconds so I saw it three seconds and the explosion lasted four seconds here are a few flybys by the Sun
for whatever the reason you'd like to send me something, here is my mailing address. Houston, say again, please.